I've got 10 more styles that you can use to create stunning images in Midjourney. Just add these key phrases to the end of your prompts with a comma separating them and you can get some pretty cool results. The first one is Ukiyo-e, which is a Japanese style of image, a woodblock print. As you can see here, I've added a woman's face and this is kind of the general look you will get with that style of art. But I've also tried some more recognizable characters again so you can see what kind of result you get. With the really cool traditional Japanese look and drawing but with modern day characters like the Incredible Hulk. And the way it's framed it up and added these elements is really cool. And the Japanese is actually a futuristic temple. It's given it that Japanese style and look to it, which I think is really cool. Has that really traditional drawn look to it. Darth Vader, even though he actually looks much the same. We've got some elements in there, like the, uh, the, the great wave in the background and some flowers and things like that, really dressing it up. And on top of that, you can actually add 3D render to it to get a very interesting effect also. So you can see I've got the woman's face again, but this time she's got a bit of depth. The same style, but with that 3D look to it. And the temple, once again, a little more 3D looking and something that uh, has still, still got that art style and that color palette, but um, just has a really striking look. And also Darth Vader, 3D, dressed in a bit more of a traditional sort of Japanese with flowers all over it. So it's a nice kind of different look for him. And the Incredible Hulk. Uh, a little less influenced on this, but still kind of has that look and that frame in the background with that three-dimensional shadowing and lighting added to it. So that's another cool style to play with, with your prompts. And also Mario, if you want something a little bit different, I've also experimented with that. But uh, moving on, we now have Iridescent Reflection, which is kind of like a particular, it's like a reflective metallic look where you get a few sort of iridescent colors. You can see here in the woman's face that kind of reflection that's added to her, and I think that's given it a pretty cool effect. Add it to Mario, and you can see how we've got that iridescent color sort of reflecting off him, and he has a bit of a metallic look to him. Darth Vader, the way his armor shines, it kind of looks like kind of like a like the bubble fluid you would use when you're blowing bubbles as a kid. But like that color and reflection added to his suit, I think is a nifty, subtle effect. And add it to something like a temple, and it'll sort of influence the color palette strongly and give you that kind of colored look. But while we're on that look, metallic effect is another cool effect you can play with. Look at this Mario image again, and he, once again, has a metallic look, only this time without the uh, iridescent reflection, but he looks real and metallic, and I think that's pretty cool. Now, I tried it with the woman's face, and it's added shards of metal around her, and it created a really striking image, I think, something a bit different than what I expected. And I decided to go with Mickey Mouse as well. We've got like a metallic Mickey Mouse figure, which uh, looks really cool, uh, another really cool effect. And also I tried a modern home, which uh, has kind of turned the home into a metallic home and makes it look like something from the future or from a science fiction movie. I think that looks pretty cool. And also Bruce Lee, it's made him gold. Uh, a lot of the Bruce Lee images I've tried, they try to use a lot of yellow, which I think has to do with his Game of Death outfit from the movie Game of Death. But uh, you see it's like a gold statue of Bruce Lee by adding that metallic effect to him. Now, diagrammatic drawing is another really cool effect you can play with. It kind of creates like a like a diagram and um, like a hand-drawn sort of technical uh, look to all your images. So the woman's face, you can see, she looks like it's been drafted. There's grids and lines added, and it has that really kind of, kind of um, technical look to it. And I tried it again with the futuristic temple. And once again, it looks a little bit like technical drawing, but this is probably the least influenced uh, example I have for this particular uh, style. Uh, again with Mario, and there's a little bit to it, but it's still really stuck with Mario himself. But when we get to Darth Vader, you can see how it's added more technical aspects to that image. So it's a bit hit and miss. Some of the stuff is a little bit, you will try it, it will work with most things, but not all. But um, either way, you'll still get some kind of modified look on your prompt. The Incredible Hulk, once again, very cool looking image, very, has a that sort of diagram look to it with the lines drawn in and overall just a really cool effect I think it is if you're looking for something a little bit different. Now pixel art if you're someone who enjoyed playing video games or grew up playing old school 8-bit 16-bit video games this might be something worth playing with. So the woman's face it actually hasn't done a great job with because I, I believe it kind of conflicts with what the focus is such as the eyes and lips but you can see how it's attempted to introduce it into that image. But when you do it to the Incredible Hulk, it looks like a proper 8-bit graphic, and I think it looks really cool. And you add another character like Mario, and even though he doesn't look necessarily like that in the old 8-bit video games, it's done a really good job of converting what he looks like 
into pixel art, which I think is really cool. And this futuristic temple, it does look like something out of a video game and um, has that really cool pixelated look without being pixelated, kind of like the, the way it's organized the elements of the image. And this one here, it's a little less pixelated again, Planet Earth, but still has a video game look to it. So it does seem very inspired by old video game styles. And also moving on, we have the Polaroid photograph. So this is a really cool effect for creating really old looking photographs. You can see how we've got this the woman's face. It looks like an actual Polaroid you've found that's faded and corroded and uh, the colors have been washed out. And I kind of love that look. It has a bit of authenticity to it. Now, Mario, it's made him more photorealistic, but then added that faded look to it. So it does look like someone's found a 20 or 30 year old picture of Mario on the floor, scanned it and put it online. Same with the Incredible Hulk. It does a really great job of washing out those colors while still keeping a tint of green in there. So uh, I think that's also a really cool way to look at that effect. Futuristic Temple, it uh, does kind of looks like a 70s photograph there, but with modern architecture. And it's kind of got like a little bit of markings on the left, a bit of sort of like red in there to mix with the colors, showing that aged look that the Polaroid's known for. And Darth Vader, again, this actually looks like a photo of Darth Vader taken on a Polaroid while he's standing in the woods. So <laughs> something a little bit different and something that's pretty cool. The next one is low poly. If you want to create like a low poly style image, kind of like the old PlayStation 1 type graphics, type in low poly. Once again with Darth Vader, you get a low poly look. It looks very sort of like clean and edged. And the woman's face also, it has created that effect. A lot of people have actually spent a lot of time in Photoshop trying to create this effect of photos. So I think it's cool that you can do this in mid journey. Now it hasn't really done a lot with the futuristic temple. So, but I kept it in there as an example of sometimes you won't get the exact look, but it does look like a very simple 3D object, which is also, I guess, low poly if you want to look at it that way. Incredible Hulk, again, that low poly look really present here and does a great job of keeping the details in there so it looks like the the uh the subject and planet earth a really simple looking planet earth low poly but has a cool 3d look with good shadowing and um i'm really happy with how this image turned out now award-winning photography i've used this a lot to create images it has like a really kind of like a muted color and high contrast but tends to lean towards a cinematic look. So Super Mario, you can see the shadows and everything are very sort of uh, very present. And it looks like he's being shot in a dark room with very sort of intentional lighting. It looks very sort of dramatic. Same with this woman's face. Photorealistic, super sharp. It's, it's amazing that this is actually AI generated and not uh, an actual photograph, but it does look like that really high level quality of photograph. In the futuristic temple, uh, the way it's had handled the reflections and the lighting, again, really warm and cinematic lighting with a muted color. Um, it kind of all the images tend to have that kind of feel to them. Incredible Hulk. This is an example too of how it tends to find ways to contrast certain subjects. So the Hulk is sitting there, kind of not really raging out in the middle of a, of the rain. It's uh, sometimes it tends to kind of contrast the subject matter with the environment, which is interesting. Especially when you look at Darth Vader holding uh, flowers and with balloons around him, kind of contrasts to his look, but uh, still keeps that same look to it. So very interesting prompt to play with, and I've had some awesome results using award-winning photography. The final one is volumetric lighting, which is a type of lighting which uh, kind of has a, a powerful glow to it and really affects the scene. You can see in these images, that uh, with the woman, she's got a glow sort of really reflecting off her forehead and it has a very particular look to it and uh, does, does a great job of sort of illuminating the scene. Same with Mario, a bit of flame in the background. You can see the lighting really cutting through and coming in front of him a bit. Um, just really, the lighting is really strong when you use volumetric lighting in your prompts. Again, with this temple, you can see how the lighting is overpowering kind of the, the camera a bit and the glow of the temple at the top is really strong. So it's a really cool way to affect your images. And the Hulk, he's got a bit of a glow coming off of his back. And you can see it, just that glow. It looks really good. And uh, also, I decided to throw the rock in here. And you can see the way this, the light's reflecting off his skin and creating a really glowing effect. So those are my 10 
styles to try for this time. Uh, this is the second video I've done on this, so I'll continue to do a few more. But um, I hope you found that useful. Try adding these into your prompts to see what results you can get. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.